Good morning, Ms. XYZ. I will call you Ms. XYZ while we are here in the waiting room, because HIPAA rules state that I must not reveal anything about you that is personal and or confidential where others might hear. Once we get into the exam room, I will call you by your name, Ms. Amy P. Dowd. My name is Bob, I'll be taking your x-rays today. Do you have any questions about your barium anima exam? Barium anima? I thought I was supposed to have my finger x-rayed. Ms. XYZ, is your doctor, Dr. Roland Q. Himmelsheimer? Yes. And you saw him yesterday complaining of rectal bleeding? Yes. In that case, I suggest you follow his advice and have the barium minimum and worry about your finger later. Uh, okay, doctor. If you say so. I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. I'm an X-ray technologist. I will be assisting the radiologist. What exactly is a barium enema? Oh, it is a simple procedure. We will begin by having you take off all your clothes and put on a threadbare hospital gown that will leave your entire backside exposed. You will lay on a cold hard table with your back to me. Exposed. For all to see. Well. What? What happens next? I will place a hard plastic tube into your rectum. The radiologist will come in and start to infuse your colon with about a gallon and a half of barium suspension. Oh my. What if I can't hold it in? Then we will replace the hard plastic tip with a soft rubber one. Why don't you just start with the soft rubber one? It has a balloon on the end, which we will inflate to approximately the size of a basketball. Then, you should not be able to expel it. Oh. Then what happens? You will be asked to roll around all over the table. First on your back, and then both sides, and on your stomach too. On my stomach? While my colon is full? Yes. Most people say it is extremely uncomfortable. But we do it anyway. Then the radiologist will drain most of the barium back into the bag. Oh. That will be a relief. Is that the end of the exam then? Heavens no. Then we will pump your colon from stem to stern with air. That sounds dangerous. Couldn't you overinflate a colon and make it blow up? Well, they don't actually blow up. It just kind of rips open a bit and stuff from your colon gets into the abdomen. Then you develop a rampant septicemia and die within hours. But that doesn't happen a whole lot. Has it ever happened at this hospital? Not since I've been here. How long have you been here? I started last week. Do you have any other questions? Yes. I've heard x-rays are dangerous. Is that true? Yes. Well, will I be getting a lot of x-rays from this exam? It depends on how much fluoro time is necessary. But I would say, yes, you will. I won't, however, because I'll be wearing lead while the radiologist is working. Then, I'll be standing safely behind a concrete and lead barrier while I radiate you over and over and over again. What about me? Do I get any kind of shield? No. Will I become radioactive? Will I glow in the dark? Will my children be mutants? Will I get cancer? Ha. 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 No, nothing so drastic. Your skin might be a little sensitive, and you might lose some hair, but that's about it. Your children won't be mutants. More likely, your grandchildren will be mutants. And if you are having rectal bleeding, you probably have colorectal cancer to begin with. So, you see we couldn't make it much worse. Well, shall we begin? Yes, let's do. I feel so much better now, since you've explained it.